our ingredients vanilla, salt, evaporated milk, condensed milk, sugar, fresh milk, 8 eggs, cream cheese, and 9 inch pan, and for bain marie, a trivet and a large pan. We will boil hot water for our bain marie, so let's prepare. This is 3 fourth sugar, and we will caramelize it. Don't stir until it's not yet melted, and now you can stir it. And remove any lumps. So the water is boiling, so set it aside. And our caramel sugar is ready, so let it cool down. Next, let's prepare our custard. We need 8 egg yolks and 4 egg whites. You may use other tools in separating your egg yolks, but right now I just do it manually. So now we have 4 egg whites, just set it aside and the remaining um, egg whites you may use it for other purposes. Just continue the process until you have 8 egg yolks. Now we have 8 egg yolks and 4 egg whites. The rest of the egg whites you may keep it for other purposes. So let's continue. Just beat the egg yolks and add 1 teaspoon of vanilla and continue beating until it's well incorporated. Then let's add our one can of condensed milk and mix it well. Then add one can of evaporated milk and mix it well. Add half cup of fresh milk and continue mixing until well incorporated. So our custard is ready, just set it aside. Let's make our egg white and cream cheese mixture. These are 4 egg whites. Add 1 4 teaspoon of salt and continue beating until it's fluffy. Then add our cream cheese. It's advisable for the eggs and cream cheese to be room temperature to avoid lumps. 
Continue beating until the cream cheese and egg white is well combined. For the exact measurement of the ingredients, please check the details below the video. Scrape the sides using spatula and mix it well. I switch um, from handheld mixer to a whisk so you will see it later on in the video. Let's combine the custard to the cream cheese mixture. Mix it until it's well combined. I'm switching from handheld mixer to a whisk. And you can start preheating your oven now to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Continue mixing to avoid bigger lumps. ready let's pour it in our pan then let's add the hot water for our bain marie process let's put it in the oven and bake it for one hour and 30 minutes Later, you can check the center if it's too wobbly. You can add more minutes for the baking time. And right now, it's already cooked. So let it cool down and put it in the fridge. I just used an icing spatula. Just run it through the sides. And give it a little shake to loosen up. I'm using a cake platter, just put it on the top and flip it upside down. So here it is, our cheesecake flan. It has a velvety texture and very delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more recipes. Thank you!